Hey YouTube, RC67 here. It's been a while since I made a video, probably about two weeks or so. I've uh, been out of town a little bit, and then of course I've been really, really busy with work, uh, as well as some of the other little projects I've got going on. So, But anyway, I just wanted to get a couple of cars up here on the turnstile. Got about five or six here. A couple of them have been on order for quite some time, and then a few of them I got while I was out of town, actually. So this uh, 1967 convertible Camaro I got when I was out of town this weekend. It's uh, what I would call a Johnny Lightning mainline. Uh, it's not super detailed in terms of like the badging and then some of the detail with the grill and the lights and the license plate. And it does have only plastic or the hard plastic tires on it versus a rubber tire with some of the more limited edition cars or exclusive cars with the Johnny Lightning lines. So nice car though. Um, not super detailed, but it's a very nice car, good piece of my collection. The hood does open up so you can see a little bit of the detail on the engine. Next, we have a 1966 Chevy Nova SS. This is a car that was uh, a drag race car in the 60s with a guy named Larry Dixon. I believe he's a three-time world NHRA drag champion. This car here is an exclusive car. Uh, according to Nanny Lightning, there was only 2,480 made. Uh, so this one has a little bit more detail on it. So you got some detailing with the bumper there and then the lights there, some detailing in the engine. You got some badging on the hood. You got some badging on the front quarter panel there as well as the rear quarter panel. Coming around on the back side here, you can see some detailing with the license plate as well as the rear tail lights and the backup lights. And the tires on this are actually rubber. So you have a rubber tire now. So this would be that exclusive or that upgraded car of Johnny Lightning. So these are a couple of cars I got so far this weekend from Johnny Lightning. Car here, this is the 1980 Pontiac Trans Am from this movie Smoking the Bandit 2. I haven't opened it yet, and I'm not sure I will. Uh, this was a car I won on an auction site while I was on vacation and I came in while I was on vacation as well. Pretty detailed. Um, it's pretty accurate to the movie from what I can see so far. Um, red tail lights in the back there with the license plate. It does have the gold trim on the top of the car. So pretty nice looking car. I haven't opened it up yet. I've been pretty busy so far. I'm going to get this one out though. I might do this one another video here later on. But the tail end of this car, I also was able to get the greeny edition of the same car, 1980 Pontiac Trans Am, Smoking the Bandit 2. You can tell the greeny by the green wheels and the green bottom. And that's kind of like their exclusives, if you will. Uh, and this was one of the ones I found on another auction site. And I ordered that and that came in as well while I was gone. So I'll probably do another video on that. Again, this one's a little bit more detailed. The red lights on the back are pretty detailed. Uh, it's got some of the gold trim and, of course, the big uh, graphic of the bird on the top there. So, The next one here, this is another Johnny Lightning. This is a membership car, and it's pretty detailed. This is 1969 Dodge Charger, and it's the 50th anniversary of Johnny Lightning. The color on this car is called Candy Gold. Pretty detailed. It's got the red... Uh, stripe around the tires there. It is a, does have rubber tires. Pretty well detailed on the front with the grill and the bumper and the turnstile lights in the bottom. Very detailed on the engine. You can make out a bunch of the different parts of the car. It's got a beautiful gold paint job in certain lights and it doesn't show it on a camera but in certain lights it, it has like a sheen through it like it speckles through gold and silver as well. It's really really a pretty cool pretty cool car. Um, so if I, I wanted to open up this, even though it's a limited edition because it's an exclusive member's car, I wanted to compare it to another Dodge Charger, which I just got as a member of the uh, RLC Hot Wheels Club. And I'll put them both up here in a second. This is the RLC um, Hot Wheels membership car. This one was the one that was on back order for like 11 months, but it's very, very detailed. I love the paint job. It's like a Spectre Flame Purple, I think. But it's got the white band around the back. You've got really good detailing on that back side with the bumper and the lights. The hood opens up. Uh, you got some good detailing on the front grille here. The engine is really detailed as well. And of course, this does have rubber tires, which I believe these are the real riders tires. So that was one of the cars I was waiting for. 
uh, from the RLC membership club being with Hot Wheels. And then I also ordered the uh, membership car from the Johnny Knightley Club. So I'm gonna put the two up here together so you can kind of see what they look like together. I think they're both really pretty cool. Um, the, the Redline car is a little bit bigger and a little bit more detailed uh, than the Johnny Lightning car, but I still think the Johnny Lightning car is a pretty nice looking car. So, I mean, if you went with strict, you know, strictly on, you know, which one was more detailed, obviously the Red, Li uh, Red Line series car is a little bit more detailed as, you know, the bigger wheels in the back and the big mag wheels on it. But as far as, you know, picking one or the other, I really couldn't say I like them both. Um, I think both cars are really cool. They are very exclusive to both members of the club that they're in. But, uh, and the paint jobs are amazing. I mean, that candy gold is really cool. It doesn't do it justice on the turnstocks. It's not good lighting, but if you can see the lighting it has here right now, it really is pretty cool looking. So, and to compare the two, I just wanted to see, um, the red line is a little bit more detailed and it does have a bigger set of wheels on it. I do like the mag wheels on the red line, but I really like that candy gold on that, uh, on the, on the Johnny Lightning car. So anyway, those are some of the new cars I got here for my collection that I'm gonna get ready to put on display here. But uh, like, comment, or subscribe. If you guys have any more information on some of the Johnny Lightning cars in terms of like a mainline uh, versus some of the exclusives or the limited editions, you know, please comment down below so I could learn a little bit more about them. Um, I've been learning a lot with the green lights and I've just started getting into the Johnny Lightning. So anyway, this is RC67 signing off. Y'all have a great day.